Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be doing a really cute Model Ones kit that they sent me. This is called the Pink Lipstick Series Starter Kit. It is on Model Ones website. It's $42.99, plus you can use my discount to get 15% off that. There are the colors, and it looks like little lipstick bottles. That's why I love it. Can't wait to open it up and show you guys. So, Without further ado, before I get into the video, I want to share um, my little stand holder, which I showed you guys in the past. This one is a little different. She shortened it for me, and she added a reflective metal piece here along with my uh, baby girl nails. thought that was really cute, so she does do engraving if you guys are interested or if you're interested in this cute little light holder stand. It holds these miniature um, nail lamps you can get from all over the place actually this kit that I'm about to show you actually has one it's got a really wide opening the last one that she sent had a, a smaller opening you can get it on her Etsy shop for $35 free shipping and she's in Canada so again Steph thank you so much for sending this to me her her um, site is called clocks and props and I will leave her link below definitely go get yourself the coldest water bottle all links are in the description with my 10% off coupon code it is the coldest water bottle in the planet it stays cold for 36 plus hours this one is the 21 ounce it's got a really nice insulated handle it they also come with flip tops it is sweat proof it floats it fits in most um, cup holders really nice guys go check it out link is in the description like I said all right let's go ahead and move on I am going to be using my 5XL Stiletto by Eno Couture. Again, I have 10% off Eno Couture products now, so go take advantage of that. And let's go ahead and unbox this beautiful little kit. So this is what it looks like. Really nice. Model 1s always have really nice kits. Like I said, it does come with a lamp. Oh, I forgot to show you guys also. Stephanie, Steph also sent me an extra metal piece with my name as well right there engraved and I also want to say a big shout out to Dawn she is the one who suggested that Steph put these reflectors on the bottom of those holders so that they will work better we don't have to break them they pop off see they pop right off and then I am going to position that making sure the lights are right in the middle and there we have it ta-da all right you get a free gift, limited time offer. So you can go claim the gift if you get this kit. It has your Q&A, questions and answers. Of course, your instruction manual. Thank you for the order. What comes in the kit. And your prep steps. It also comes with a Model 1's cuticle oil. Oh, it smells nice. It smells like flowers. It's really nice really nice smell and then of course it comes with a little buff little buffing block little file comes with your brush to brush off any of the dust comes with a cuticle nipper and last but not least is the adorable little stickers we got some neon green pink and orange butterflies neon hearts pink and green purple white and then you get the gold diamonds and circles, really nice. And then you get some gold lines, circles, squares, triangles, stars, really, really adorable. Look how cute, I love it. All right, looks like we have a top and base coat and six colors. The base coat, oh, I like that. I like that. 10 mLs. We have the top coat, 10 mL. Well, they're all 10 mLs. We have the base and top coat. Everything is 10 mL. We have a. There are no names, but these bottles are soft. Really, really soft to the touch. Oh, I really like that. So from the darkest to the lightest, and that's how we're going to do the look today. We're going to do an ombre with gel polish. So you guys are going to want to get a sponge. This is just a uh, 
This is just a makeup sponge. I am going to apply my peel off base. Well, it's not a peel off base, it's a foil glue. This is a regular foil glue. You can use it as a peel off base. So you're just going to take it and you're just going to apply one coat of your foil glue. You don't want to use a gel foil glue. Once this is dry, it will be clear. If you guys didn't see me do this in my last video, I got the idea from my friend Tia Bella Beauty here on YouTube. I'll link her channel below. Alright, I'm going to go in with my base coat and from cuticle to free edge, go ahead and apply your base. Once you have your base applied, go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. Alright, after your base is applied, you're going to go ahead and make sure your nail tips are ready. You're going to prime the underside with either an e-file or a primer. I'm going to take my DIY gel. This is by Enel Couture. I love this stuff. I freaking love it. And because these are like a higher arch, you're going to probably want a little more gel than normal. Again, I'm going to put a little bit more in here. Okay. Go ahead and press, and you can watch it go all the way to your free edge. Once it gets to your free edge, go ahead and cure that. I'm going to go ahead and put all the nails on, you guys. All right, after I applied them, I went ahead and cured for 60 seconds. Now I'm taking the little buffing block they sent, and I'm buffing the surface shine off the nails. Super easy. Make sure you clean up around your cuticle area and side walls if you have any gel spewing out. These are a little hard to buff because they're so long. So here we go. I am going to take my Eno Couture manicure brush and just dust off any excess dust. Now I'm going to take the base coat again. We're going to put one coat of base on the tips. So from your cuticle to your free edge, go ahead and apply a base. Once your base coat's on, go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. All right, now that my base is cured, I'm going to take these nail protectors. I got these from Sheen.com. You can get them almost anywhere, you guys. And I'm going to put my nail protectors on. So these are pretty simple to apply. So you're going to wrap it around the nail. Don't get it on the nail like I have. Wrap it around. There we go. As close to the sidewall and cuticle as you can get it. So you go from this to this. And they are pretty forgiving. They're very stretchable. So if you don't have it in the right spot, you can always lift it up and put it where you need to put it. Okay. All right. So I think I'm just going to take the lightest color and we're going to use that as our base. I'm going to apply a coat of this on my nail. Okay, that's a very, very pretty color. Almost like a blush. Okay. Now, once you have that done, go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. Now it's time to have some fun. So you're going to get your sponge and go ahead and open up all the colors in a row how you want them. You're going to go over. Color is in the nails. And the last color. Press it and roll it. The more we do it, the more the color is going to come out. So don't worry about that. 
All right, so after the first layer's on, go ahead and give that a 60 second cure. All right, first coat. Now we're gonna go in with the second coat. So again, take your sponge, kind of line it up the best you can. Roll it, let me do the top part first, bottom part. Okay. Okay, go ahead and cure. I'm going to go in with a third layer. Let's work on the top part first. And now the bottom part. There we go. Top part. Bottom part. All right, I think one more coat and we'll have it. Cure that. And for shits and giggles, I'm going to go ahead and start at the darker one again down here. Just so I can get the tip of the nail. I'm going to go right, about right there. I'm going to work on the top part first. Move into this part. And see if we can get a little bit of that action. There we go. Top part, bottom part. I'm going to take that dark color and I'm just going to go at the very tip. Take the sponge, sponge that. All right, full 60 second cure. Now you're going to remove the sticker. And if you have any that's sticking on the nail, you can cut that off with your tweezers. I do have a little bit stuck on the nail. Not a big deal. I'll get it off. All right, guys, I'm going to go clean up my edges. Come back, top coat, add some stickers. And I went ahead and cleaned up around the cuticles. I do have a, a little bit still stuck there, but I'm not too worried about it because these are going to be popped off. So I'm going to take these really cute gold stickers and we're going to put them on the nails. Alright you guys, as cute as these stickers are, they are a pain in my ass, but they did turn out really cute. Take the no wipe top coat, go ahead and top coat these nails. I'm going to go ahead and top coat, I'm going to go ahead and cure my first layer of top coat. Okay, I'm going to use these tiny little gold flat back alloys. Go in with a coat of top coat. Now, if you want the alloys to stay, you're going to want to use some rhinestone glue or some um, like Gorilla Glue. And I'll do a video eventually, guys, on how to keep how to keep rhinestones in place. I've been meaning to do a video about that, but I just haven't gotten to it. But I'm just going to put this right in the middle of the stickers. I'm setting it right into the top coat. I'm going to flash cure it in place. And last but not least, go ahead and put on the cuticle oil. The Model Ones Lipstick Gel Polish set with accessories. Throwing this in a giveaway. Stay tuned. If you guys like the nails and you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Please share it with your friends and family so we can get up to 50k and have that really big giveaway. 
I will be having an, a giveaway very soon though. We, um, it will be in a video. It will not be titled. So all of you out there who are my loyal subscribers will see that giveaway. But let me know what you guys think of the ombre uh, gradient. And let me know what you think of the stickers. I think the stickers are really cute. I think it works out really well. The colors work together. Love it, love it, love it. Absolutely loving the 5XL uh, stilettos, of course, by Max Estrada. And there you have it, guys. That is it for my design. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay blessed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.